first of all, let me show you how to carry a microscope. This is probably going to sound insulting, but it's really important that you learn this skill. Or not necessarily skill, but you learn this practice. So first of all, every time you carry a microscope, you should always use two hands. So one hand should go on the arm and the other hand under the base. And when you carry it, you should hold it up next to your body like this. Also, by holding a microscope up there in front of your chest, it takes it out of the same, same level as chair backs, tabletops, desktops, doorknobs, and things like that and you're much less likely to bang into things if you're holding it up there and cradling it in front of you like a baby. Now one thing that you need to know is that microscopes of course are complicated pieces of uh, scientific equipment. If they're well, well cared for and well treated they will last a long long time. If they're not they, they simply won't and believe me on school uh, budgets you do not want to have to replace microscopes. Okay, a couple of other things. Let me show you how to prepare a microscope for putting it away. So let's say somebody's been using the microscope. There is a slide on the stage. They've had it at some magnification. This, this one happens to be at the 10 power magnification. They've got it up here about like so where the focal plane is. So the first thing you do is you make sure you turn the power off. Remove the slide, put the slide away, or set it aside, then lower the stage to its lowest level. Put the lowest power objective lens in place because it's the shortest and will reduce the chances of hitting something here. Then um, the microscope's power cord can be gently, uh, can be gently wrapped around the base and the, and the arm, then you can pick it up and put it away. Alright, the next thing I want to show you is preparing a microscope for use. So if you need to attach your power cords, go ahead and take care of that. Plug your microscope in. If the person ahead of you knew what they were doing, the slide table should already be in the lowest position. The lowest magnification slide should all, or lowest magnification objective lens should already be in place. So what you want to do is, first of all, just take a microscope slide with something on it that's relatively easy to find. Turn the light on and move your slide into the center of the illumination. Then move it all the way to the top. So rotate your tray, your slide, slide table, all the way to the top. Then, while looking through the ocular lenses, you want to find your focal plane. In other words, you want to focus on the slide. And because your slide stage is already in its utmost position, when you focus, you will be rotating the course focus knob toward you and moving the slide stage down away from the lens. By doing it this way, you reduce, effectively you eliminate the chances of rotating a slide up into the, into the lens and breaking the slide and possibly damaging the lens. And each lens could be, depending on the magnification and the make, can be anywhere from tens of dollars to a few hundred dollars per lens. So you want to be, be uh, sure to take care of them. So while looking through, now that your stage is in the utmost position, look through the ocular lenses and adjust the light. If your eyes are uncomfortable at all, your illumination is too bright. So back off on the illumination. And if you have a large enough specimen, you can generally see where it is at this point. Just move it into position and then rotate down and away from the, from the ocular lens. And on this microscope, it doesn't take very far to get there. Get it into as close uh, focus as you can using the coarse focus knob. Then use the fine focus knob to bring it into final focus. Your microscope should be set up, it should be engineered so that at this point, if it's in fine focus, you can now rotate the next objective lens into position. I'm going from the four power lens to the 10 power lens. 
and you look in there, it should be very close to final focus. At this point, you can use the fine focus knob and rotate it a little bit either direction and achieve your final focus, your sharpest focus. Then once you have that in position, again, you can rotate your objective lenses. I'm going from the 10 power to the 40 power lens. It rotates in, and in less than a quarter of a turn on this microscope, I'm able to achieve final focus. Now what you'll find is that as you go to higher and higher magnifications, you're seeing a smaller and smaller area of the slide. That means that your image is going to become more dim, so you'll need to adjust your light intensity to compensate. Also, adjust your condenser diaphragm as well. Okay, I need to show you one more thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get this back into focus. And that's now at focus at the lowest power magnification. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to show you how to focus or adjust the condenser. Most people are never taught how to do this. So what you'll need is your microscope and you'll need a fine tipped probe. On the lamp, what you'll notice if you look closely is a little notch either cut out of the side or the front. And what you do is you take your probe and you lay the, the tip of the probe across that notch and angle it down so that it touches the surface of the glass on the lens of the lamp. Now with that in place, looking through your, your ocular lens again, you're going to adjust the condenser adjustment knob. That's the single one around on the other side. So you've got your probe tip in place, touching the surface of that glass. You've got a hold of the condenser adjustment knob and you adjust the condenser down or up until you see a sharp silhouette of the shadow, the probe tip. Around the edge of the probe tip, which is now in sharp focus, at least the silhouette is in sharp focus, you'll see there's kind of a general modeling pattern. That's because the condenser has focused the light from the surface of the lens glass and as part of the image. So what you want to do is again look through the, the, the ocular lens and adjust the condenser knob either direction just a little bit until that modeling disappears.